about the liver kicks and the body attack in that previous round, DC, the highlight. The liver kick is a nasty kick because it only takes one to land in the perfect spot and it will shut your body down completely. You won't be able to stand. You won't be able to fight. All you want... All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. All right, here he is for my money. Might be the most well-rounded fighter in this division. A true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight. Maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Good stick. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. Way to control the posture of your opponent. Rotate him and then throw that big elbow around the guard. And he landed the right hand there. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Nice punch lands. Big knee lands there. Try to establish that jab. That right hand is on point. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Just over three minutes now to go. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Nice straight right lands. Beautiful body kick. Back and forth we go. Start to see some of the damage cut underneath that right eye. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, a huge block there. Unable to connect there. There it is. Take the shot now. Big leg kick land. That right hand hurt him a little bit. That's a big strike right there. Oh, and now he lands the knee. I'm not sure his opponent saw that coming. 
didn't see it coming because he does such a great job of just throwing. He doesn't have any tell when he's going to throw a knee. He comes forward with a flying knee that just missed hitting the target flush. Oh. Oh, straight right. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Oh, good job defensively to block the strike there by Choi. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, big elbow. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Punch coming, it's blocked. Look at how he turns his hips into that leg kick. Pretty good jab there by Choi. Oh, now he stuns him beautifully with the left hand. The left hand is so accurate, he's so educated, he's so able to fight from both fighting stances. Good jab. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Nice punch by Bisbee. Superboy gets stunned there and by that oh, stop. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. That last round. This round, we want to keep mixing things up. Use your punches. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Oh, man, how is he standing? Brutal knee to the body. Oh, straight right. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Misses with that punch. Got clip with the right hand. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Bisping's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Huge knee lands from Nicole. Ooh, big shot lands. Oh, some of the best kicks you'll see right there, live and in color. Right punches there. Just misses there with the left. Lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter round. Choi gets the takedown. Just over three minutes to go now. All the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down the opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. All right, feet on the hips here. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Back to the feet now. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. 
Nice straight punch. Using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Oh man, that cut is nasty. Just unable to quite find that reach. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Now Joy gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Take it for a ride. Nice double leg. Nice finish. Ninety seconds remain in the round. Well, you know I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week too. <laughs> Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Bisping. Back mount now. Bisping's got the full mount. And they both stand up. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Gotta be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Straight right is there. Ten minutes in the books. All right, that's the end of the round, and you see the cut on the cheek. That thing is getting downright nasty. It is getting worse here by the minute. And you got to wonder, to what extent does that impact him moving forward here in this fight? You at least have to ask the question. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a bar fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kick and sink at each other. But you did see times where they came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Look at the turtle in that kick. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Punch over the top. Joy gets caught by that straight punch. Can't take too many more of those. Bleeding from his cheek now. Oh, yeah, right here. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. And they separate. Nice kick. Bisping gets hit by that leg kick. Continues to mix it up over the head, mixing in some body shots. Bisping gets caught with that punch. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. He's back in the twist position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head, and the twist. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Bisping. Beautiful body keep landing right on the elbow. Bisping gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. Right hand is there over the top. Beautiful and potentially a critical.
illegal takedown here. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Bisping's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Well, that nose isn't going to be able to take too many more as he doubles up on the jab there. So good to watch MMA evolve and watch guys now fight behind the jab. Oh, collar tie. Right hand punch the clinch. Head kick lands. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, is that a good knee to the body there by this? So once again, no surprise, DC. The fighter with the longer reach able to land another punch there. Nice jab there by Choi. And they separate. Wild attempt with the right hand there. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. And both guys really throwing with authority. Liver kick. Pretty good right hand. Choi's attempt there is blocked by the opponent. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Choi's tough as it gets, but how about the size of that bruise starting to form on his right side? Beautiful punch. Well, he's got a pretty good sidekick, and you saw it right there. He did it great, and it pushed his opponent back. Notice how it creates space and allows him to get back to where he's comfortable. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost part in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they are fighting behind it real well. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Bisping. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, so another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous 10 minutes. Your thoughts on what we might see? Both of the guys really picking up on the action, putting their foot on the gas, really starting to drive it home as we approach the end of the fight, and we're still so evenly matched, and the fight has been so close to this point. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Nice punch by Bisbee. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Right on the button. Nice body right on the elbow. Choi's got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do with it. And they separate. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Big kick lands. And loaded up again right here, too. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes him stop throwing. 
So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent very bad. Oh, he might be out. Three minutes to go. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Nice. And that is a serious cut. Real quick leg kick. Oh, nice knee to the body for him there. Very nice. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Big punch land. Ooh. Looking to land the right just out of range. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Can't take many of those, you better check. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, is that a big knee to the body? We'll see if he can follow up. Now they're both throwing with power. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. Ooh, head kick lands is hurt. Trying to establish that jab once again. Big punch lands through the middle. Just misses with the right hook. All right, single collar tie now. He lands a big knee to the body. Big power shot there. And they separate. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Another shot lands upstairs. Okay. Oh, and the gentleman lands another punch there. He is keeping the strike counters busy tonight. The counts are high, but it's also the timing at which he lands these strikes. Ten seconds remaining in round four. Lance with the right hand. 20 minutes down, potentially five to go. All right, so it was all about the liver kicks and the body attack in that previous round. DC, the highlight. The liver kick is a nasty kick because it only takes one to land in the perfect spot, and it will shut your body down completely. You won't be able to stand. You won't be able to fight. All you want to do is exit the octagon. He better get his elbow down, or his opponent's going to continue to take advantage of that weakness. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Beautiful strike. Straight right hand now, just misses. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Nice knee to the body there by Bisping. 
hard shots landing on both sides here. Ooh, what a punch. Nice job of hiding that hit kick. Choi's all sorts of bruised up on his body. That is gonna hurt something fierce tomorrow. He's looking to land the right just out of range. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Big body kick. Oh, big knee to the body. How'd he get that one home? Lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Punch is blocked. Big overhand right. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Just misses with a left hook there. Misses with the right hand. Hey, keep moving. Hey, take that. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, single collar tie here. Nice punch there by the Korean Super Bowl. Fantastic. Choi's face is a hot mess, man. That cut on his cheek is getting worse by the minute and worse with every strike landed by his opponent. Strong lot of work here, staying busy. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here, nice punch. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here, nice punch. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. Big kick land. Attempts the front kick there. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. Oh, big left hook there. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Ooh, what a punch. Choi gets stung by that leg kick. Flush right hand is true. Kick to the body by Bisbee. Single collar tie now. And now he's got the tie clinch. That knee might have landed there. Unable to connect with the right. Nice punch lands over the top. Big leg kick lands. Back and forth we go here. Fifteen seconds. Oh, big left hand there. Blocks the shot. And that one certainly found the target. All right, so a close fight goes the distance here tonight, DC. I know you're not a judge, but any lean to one fighter or the other? I mean, when I watched the fight, I believe that he did enough. But when these fights are this close, it's razor, razor thin. You don't know what the judges are seeing. I think he did enough. I think it was the striking advantage that he showed that should get him the victory, but we shall see. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buffer.
Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. For the winner by split decision, 